He's here. God help me. He's come to kill me. He's here. He's here. He's here. Help me. Help me. to me! Display this from the highest place you can find. When the barbarians see it, they'll run. The battle will be ours. The barbarians are closing in on the palace gates! We need to get to them first, and hold them back! Forward! Soldier. Yes, sir. Most of the 18th Legion is still combat effective. We have three auxiliary units in your command, Scorpios, archers, and a catapult nest. managed to slip by us into the palace. He's here! Help me! I command you! My Emperor, the palace defences have been breached. I'm not worried about the barbarians! I'm worried about him! We need to get you somewhere secure. Secure? Nowhere is secure from this... this... this demon. We need to get you to a safe place. Uh, your chambers? My chambers? No, no! The vault! This way! You burn, Roman! Here, quickly! Oh, come on. Come on. I swear it. Damocles. Damocles is a myth. Only men kill men, my emperor. The gods may guide us. They never interfere with the affairs of mortals. Oh! And what great oracle told you this, General? My father. We will be safe here, then. I do believe we will be safe. I pray to the gods that we will be safe. Oh, we will be safe here, Emperor. As safe as we can be. Safe? Yes, yeah, safe, thank God. But you... What family? What's your name, soldier? Marius. But my name is of no import. My story, however, is... My father taught me that we are fated by the gods, but that we alone choose our path. You were fated to be an emperor, and I, a soldier. 
My father's sense of honor drove him to follow a path that served the people. But what drove us to take the paths we did? What made us the men that we are today? My story begins some ten years past. Father. Marius? It's good to see you again. Uh, how do I look? Every inch the Roman soldier. You look fine, my son. Welcome home. <laughs> Welcome home. Do you know where you're to be posted? Alexandria. Ah, Alexandria. That's a quiet province. Your mother will be pleased. I didn't join the army to bask in the sun, father. I want to fight like you did for the empire. All in good time, my son. All in good time. Remember, not all your enemies will be found on the battlefield. Father? Marius! <sighs> Let me look at you. You're so handsome. Mother, please. Your sister is eager to see you. You will see her soon enough, my love. For now, I wish to speak with our son alone. Fine. I shall go and find your sister. Is there something troubling you, father? We will talk in good time. For now, let's see what you've learned. It's a sad but proud day. The day a son first beats his father. You may have mastered the sword, but never rush to meet the world with it drawn. Always come open-handed first. Walk with me, son. I've heard rumors there is great unrest in Rome. Yes, these are dangerous times we live in. This election could change everything. I'm giving this to you as your grandfather once gave it to me. When your time comes to command men of your own, think back on what I'm about to tell you. Legend says that Damocles was a great warrior. A revered leader in a vast army. During a massive battle, his cowardly commanders abandoned him. When the slain Damocles arrived in the underworld, Nemesis, the goddess of revenge, was enraged at how the brave hero had been treated. She allowed Damocles to return to the world as a vengeful spirit. A ghostly, black-armored centurion. Who would hunt down and kill each of the generals who had wronged him. To this day, many commanders carry a dagger with the image of Damocles on the scabbard. This dagger reminds them to always look after their men, or risk the Black Centurion returning from the dead to avenge their selfish mistakes. Septima! Barbarians! Follow me! Oh, 
every last one of you! Listen, they mean to kill us, Marius. We must get to the Senate House to save my people! That way, there lies your destiny. Run. You must save Rome! Save it from... Save it from there. You bastards! You murdering barbarian bastards! I will do as you bid, Father. I will save Rome from them. I'll spill their blood. I'm Commander Vitalian of the 14th. I fought with your father. If it's blood you want, I promise I will give you as much as you can handle. You were the second, aren't you? Yes, sir. Not anymore. Welcome to the 14th, lad. Italian oversaw the completion of my training and made good on his promise. As part of the 14th, I'd soon have all the blood I could ever want. The island of Britannia, that fetid lair at the edge of our empire, was home to the bastards that had slaughtered my family and led the very rebellion which had spewed onto the streets of Rome. My posting with the 14th would take us to these isles where I would wreak my revenge, crushing this insurrection.
sorry, my friend. Until our archers get here. Legionaries! Form a line! Come on, lads! Let's take this fort! Move! 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 Battalion!
many good officers and men were lost today. Marius, you have proved that you can lead. You have earned the respect of the men. So, take this helmet and put it on. Legionaries! Salute your new centurion! Settle down, lads. Now! You know what you can expect from these barbarians. They are a race of rabid bastards who will fight us tooth and nail. But they don't know what they are up against. Rome is civilization! Rome! is order! Rome is power! And out here, we are Rome! Commander, King Oswald's barbarian army is advancing on York. General Commonus and the 6th Cohort engage the enemy, but their fate is unknown. Secure the remaining boats and get them unloaded, and prepare the men. We march for York! Our march north towards the rebel heartland was brutal. Progress was slowed by battle after bloody battle against these embittered tribes. Rome had brought peace, rich trade and prosperity to these isles. This peace had been shattered by open rebellion. Now, finally, we were closing in on the very birthplace of this revolt, where King Oswald and his warrior daughter ruled. me that a large barbarian army is fast approaching. Now, if they manage to meet up with this army, we don't stand a chance. York will fall. By the gods, the hairy-ass bastards must outnumber us 20 to 1. In a straight fight, we'll suffer heavy losses. Or we're not going to attack. Their leader, King Oswald, and his daughter Boudicca are down there amongst them. If we capture him, the tribal chiefs will have to sue for peace to secure his safe release. Then Oswald will be forced to bow his knee and swear an oath to Rome. And these Britons, they are honorable in their own way. They have no honor. These vermin dare to stand against the might of Rome. They deserve to suffer our retribution. Our retribution? Or yours? Sir, I Enough! We will end this rebellion my way and not put the lives of good men at unnecessary risk. Is that understood, Centurion? Understood, Commander. Very well. A small detachment will infiltrate the enemy camp and capture Oswald and Boudicca. I will lead our main force and cut off their reinforcements. And what are my orders, sir? I promised you blood, didn't I? You will capture Oswald and Boudicca. Before you can get your men through safely, you will need to deal with the archers posted on the aqueduct. So you'll be starting out alone. Understood, sir. It's an honor.
This way. The legions approach. Position your archers on the roadside and prepare yourselves to fire on my command. Yes, ma'am. for the glory of Rome. What kind of glory is this? The Britons will never commit to peace if this is how we treat them. This must be the work of the Praetorians. Friends of Rome, may I present to you Basilius, the son of the Emperor. Commander Vitalian, congratulations on your safe arrival. Had it been any later, you might have missed out on all the fun. <laughs> I do trust your journey was not too arduous. Sir, I would like to... Our Praetorian to... Guard will take over now. Guards. Seize the Briton scum. Your Highness, I must In protest. you unaware. My brother Commodus is still missing. I intend to find out 
what these savages have done with him. We Britons lived in peace under the rule of the old Roman chieftain. But this new chieftain, Commodus, son of your king, is evil. He deserves the fate that he is suffering. I have nothing more to say. Then it is clear to me that you Britons do not love as we Romans do. Your girl. She is beautiful. Flog her until he talks, or she dies. Whichever comes first. No! Hold her! Ow! Dang! How dare you? I am son of the Emperor. And I do whatever I choose. Please! No! Please! Spare her! I'll tell you everything! Chieftain Commodus was traded to the Horned King in the Northern Lands. Beyond the wall. Please. Release my daughter. I beg of you. See? There's really only one language these people understand. The language of force. You will find your chieftain in darkness beyond the wall. Where the lowering barren mountains tower over the black, bottomless locks. Horned men from ancient times roam this land. And of those who venture there, few return. Commander Battalion, I have a new mission for you. You will lead your men north to the lowering mountains and bring back my brother. Guards, lock up the prisoners. Ready the men! You heard the commander! Make ready to march! Centurion, we march north. Yes, sir! Vitalian led our forces further north, beyond the borders of our empire, to the edge of the world. We fought against warriors, more beast than men, so fearsome that even Rome's elite legions had failed to conquer them. Oswald's foreboding words haunted us as we marched ever deeper into the unforgiving darkness. Horned men from ancient times roam these lands, and of those who venture there, few return. This fort, God's Hop, it's rumored to be the gateway to Hades, a place of fire and death. I worry that what happens here on the edge of the world could soon befall the Empire itself.
Rise up, son of Rome. Your empire needs you. Rise. You men, take the left flank with me. The rest, the right, and await my signal. Yes, sir! Sometimes a man must look past what he thinks he sees. Well done, Marius. Soldiers! Soldiers! Well, don't just stand there, you useless souls! Get me out of here! Get me out of here now! Those that would be our glorious leader, General Commodus. Yes, the Emperor's son. Get me out of here, you stupid fools! I command you! Your victory, your honors, Centurion. At once, sir. Come on, come on, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Give me your cape. 
Give me your cape! We marched to York. Commodus was safe, and Oswald ready to accept peace. I pray to the gods that an end to this horrific bloodshed was within our grasp, that I could finally return with my men to Rome. I began to realize that Commander Vitalian had every reason to question the wisdom of this campaign. How many soldiers had given their lives to achieve this so-called victory? For me, I had spilled all the blood I could handle. Governor, I bring before you Oswald, King of the Britons. He has renounced this rebellion. He will submit to the rule of Rome, and henceforth he will only fight to secure peace between our two great peoples. Highness Commodus, all we ask is that my people are treated with fairness. Treated as equals. So that all may live in peace. So that we all may live in peace. The peace treaty from Rome. The Emperor's will! The Emperor's peace! All he needs is the King's mark on that skull, and then we can all leave this godforsaken island. Your Emperor, my father, he is indeed wise and fair. This is the Emperor's seal. It is a direct extension of his will and the power of Rome. Rise. Embrace me. <laughs> King Oswald, here is your peace. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> you filthy, stinking dog! How dare you! See what happens when you defy me? Never didn't kill my father. The Emperor did. Save Rome from them. Now! Heal you box! What are you waiting for? I said me! You are
revered leader in a vast army. His cowardly commanders abandoned him. Nemesis, the goddess of revenge, allowed Damocles to return to the world as a vengeful spirit. A ghostly, black-armored centurion who would hunt down and kill each of the generals who had wronged him.
You are a general of Rome. I brought you here to protect me from Damocles. <laughs> but you are Damocles! <laughs> God's protect me. You are Damocles! Indeed I am. And my story is almost at an end. I became driven by one thought, one solitary desire, the desire for vengeance. Vengeance against the Emperor Nero, who had my family butchered. Vengeance against his despicable sons who betrayed my legion! In order to exact my vengeance, I'd have to return to where my journey began. Return to my home. Danger surrounded me on my journey back to Rome. The evil which had plagued Britain had now infected this city. Starving refugees from our once free Rome lined the roads, telling tales of deprivation and torture. The rule of law lay shattered. My life's solitary purpose was to return to Rome and end the evil that you created, Nero. To prevent you from destroying the Rome that I love and to return it to its people. A legionary murdered Atticus and Janus! Someone's in there. You two, take a look. Nothing. Get back to your post. Yes, sir! There's a rogue soldier on the kill, and we're going to find him. You! Fifty-nine! How many more? About a hundred or so. Up on Veer or Gusty. You see, Marius, it's not always in distant lands that our greatest enemies lurk. Who are you? Why did this happen? My father was a hero of Rome. Your father was a great general and a popular senator. Too popular, perhaps. The Emperor is a jealous man. A petty man. Your father lived to serve Rome. Emperor Nero serves only himself. He seeks power for the sake of power. He believes himself a god. A cold wind from the north whispered poisonous words in the Emperor's ear. Your father and other like-minded men wanted to return Rome to its people. So the Emperor had them murdered. After all, that is what emperors do. The spoils of his greed were divided between his sons, Basilius and Commodus. He lavished upon them great powers and responsibilities for which they were unworthy. Rome is failing its children, Marius. You are a vital piece in the game of man. And you, like all of us, have a role to play. Damocles, spirit of vengeance. The fate of the Empire is in your hands. Save Rome. Save Rome from them.
handed entry to the Emperor's tournament. This could be granted by just one man, so I paid him a visit. Damocles? I come for the tournament. Ah! <laughs> You're a gladiator. <laughs> oh. mm, the, uh, the mythical armor is it's a fine touch indeed. You gave me quite the shame. Only the most skilled fighters can enter the tournament. Let me see if you fight as well as you dress. Here is your scroll of entry. Don't lose it. You've transformed killing into an art form. I, however, express myself in different ways. Here is some of my more recent work. I've just completed the final... <clears throat> Embellishments. It's a gift for my father, the Emperor. It's an amazing piece of work, if I may say so myself. Containing a, a hidden surprise. A small compartment inside the head that will make it cry the finest white wine to symbolize his great love for the Empire. But I suppose it could be made to cry anything, really. Anything. Dragged down the Senate. The street. The streets of Rome will run red. Red with blood. I've seen you in my dreams. Cut me loose if you wish to know your future. Fallen hero of Rome. Spirit. To vengeance. General shall be slain by Damocles. But Emperor Nero, he can only die by his own sword. You cannot kill him.
Damocles has been brilliant, hasn't he? So brilliant that I want his head. A thousand denarii to whoever brings it to me. Still looks alarmingly strong. Fear not for your son's life, my emperor. I fear not for that little shit's life, you fool. I fear for my purse. I've wagered a fortune on him to win. I will shorten the odds. Your purse is safe. Oh. And so is the little shit. My commonest! Your general! Your savior! You say you are protecting Rome. Who will protect you from me? Stinking, putrid, filth! Cut you! Am I not the greatest? Silence! Come on, Damocles. Take your vengeance. Over here! I'm Commodus, no. you fool! I'm Commodus! I'm Commodus! The show's over for you, Damocles! Take any chances, Damocles. You understand. I know I'm immortal, but the flips can be so fickle. One lucky blow from you and my reputation. Take your last breath, Commodus.
I've only ever known one man who can fight like that. Let us finish what your father started, Marius. Quickly, we need to get out of here. The Senate is nothing but frightened old men. They no longer listen to truth, nor reason. I warned them about Britannia, but to no avail. Commodus has held the legions back, doing nothing, whilst the massive barbarian army has swarmed across the empire, wreaking havoc as it closes in on Rome. The Britons? Yes, and their army has grown tenfold. Everyone who opposes Rome has allied with them. Even tribes from faraway lands have sent them massive beasts of war. The Emperor and Commodus have made enemies. So many enemies. And across the Empire, these barbarians have seen how weakened we have become under Nero's rule. And they mean to destroy us. Destroy the Empire. With Commodus gone, they'll ask me to assume command. And I'll need my best men if we're going to hold Rome. When I suspected it was you in the arena, I readied this. The Emperor must die. And he will. But we must save Rome first. I need you now, Marius. Fight for your father. Fight for your legion. Fight for Rome. Boudicca. Once her fate was in my hands, now she spearheaded the army of a thousand tribes. Their giant beasts of war bore down on our gates. The evils of a rotten empire visited upon its capital. We must all answer for our choices, Nero, but it's the people of Rome that now pay for yours. Ah, Boudicca. Your fight was not with Rome itself but with Nero, who had our fathers murdered, and we will be avenged. But if Rome falls, then our world will descend into darkness. Chaos will lay waste to civilization. I will never let that happen. Defenses will funnel the bastards down into this one square. They could outnumber us by a thousand to one here, but confined space will take away that advantage. And, God's be willing, Rome will see another dawn. Here they come. Hold steady.
is no end to the filthy bastards. We have to hold them here. Fire at will! I'll lead the counter charge. I need every man we can spare. No, I will lead the charge. You'll never make it back. I can hardly let you have all the glory now, can I? Waste time pulling off the petals. Cut off the head. Booty cut. Booty cut. General, we can't hold them back for much longer. Boudicca. Sir? Sir, I don't know for how much longer we can... The gods do not favor us! We must... Fall back. Flee. Is that what you left your post to tell me? Is that why you left your men? 
We have been summoned by the gods. And you want to flee? I should kill you myself. You bring dishonor to your men. You bring dishonor to me. You bring dishonor to Rome! I swear to you, Centurion, Rome will not fall. Not today. Today, we fight. Signal whatever's left of the Sixth Legion to come about and reinforce the west flank. Pull the fifth out of the old quarter to do the same. I'll find whatever's left of the 14th and take on the enemy in front of the palace. Go! Understood. The front line will hold. Even if I have to hold it myself. Again, Roman. This time yield or pay the price. And let you destroy Rome. Never! We can't both win. And I've come too far to let you stand in my way. I say yield! Do it now, Boudicca! Marius, son of Rome. We are not much different, you and I. Fate has made us enemies. But in another life. In another life, perhaps. Not in this one. No. Not in this one. Do it, Roman. Do it. This is the highest place you can find. When the barbarians see it, they'll run. The battle will be ours. Since you're clearly not here to protect me, what now? You had my family murdered. You have left Rome in ruins. Everything that has happened, all this needless death, your jealousy, your vanity, your arrogance has caused it all. Wait, 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 wait! Have you forgotten the Oracle's prophecy? Emperor Nero can only die by his own sword. You can't kill me. Only I can. You said so yourself. You anger the gods. <laughs> Hand me your dagger, General. Then I can at least die as an emperor. Even if I never lived as well. Be defeated. So, it's not them pounding up that door. Those are my Praetorians. God! God! Democles is here! He's here to kill me! Protect me now! Marius, my good man. Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused me? How hard I've worked to tease all these pieces into place.
civilization. Marius, watch out! Ah! You mortals play your games. We gods play ours. But the game has rules. Oh. civilization once more grew and flourished. The city, saved by an unsung hero, would go on to stand for thousands of years. Rome would endure. From then until the last days of man.